Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, we will talk about what is permalink and how this is very important for search engine optimization. The next important part, we will also discuss about what should be the structure of your permalink so that the Google crawler, whenever it will visit your website, can read that particular thing and can understand what your content all about and what happen if you will change your permalink. And then after, we will also discuss about how you can change the structure of your permalink. So guys, if you're new to this channel, looking for such kind of blogging, SEO, affiliate marketing, and passive income content, make sure you subscribe to this channel, provide your valuable comment, because I will keep making more and more video based on the comments you are providing. So let's go, without wasting time, let's go to the screen, and there first I will discuss about what is permalink, how it will be look like, and what happened when it will change in the future. So guys, here on the screen, first of all, guys, if you really wanted to learn a blogging and wanted to enroll for a nine day free blogging series, make sure you provide your name and email address and also check our all other videos, which I have shared on my channel in order to get a more idea how those all things works. Now, the first important thing is guys, whenever you will be having a blog or website, there are two things which are very important. So the first one is always will be your domain name. Domain name is uh, something an address of your website through which all your website contains will be linked. If anyone will browse this domain name anywhere on the internet, it will directly link with your website and the user will be landed on your website. That is the first part. But whenever if you will open any particular post, let's say I have opened this particular one, then the URL, you can see here, it is a combination of two things. So one is your domain name and the second one, which we call the slug. You can see here is slug. Slug, what is slug? How to change a slug? I will explain you. But understand, this is a combination of two things. One is your domain name, which is your permanent structure. And the second one, which is your slug, which is changeable based on the content. So the combination of your domain name along with the slug that is known as a permalink or in other words, I should say this is a permanent link which has been connected with this particular content. Now what happens guys, whenever the Google crawler will visit your website, let's say this particular website and it visiting a particular content at that moment, it differentiate each and every content based on the content as well as the link. If it will found like this particular post has a different URL, this has different URL, this has different URL, then the crawler understand like this post is different than the first one. So that is the important of permalink. And if in future, let imagine you have created this post with this particular URL. Now you have created a backlink. Let's say this backlink, that backlink, that backlink. Now you have uh, gained some authority for that particular post. But now in the future, if you will change the URL or I should say the permalink of that website with a new one. Now in the future, if somebody else will come to this particular post and try to click that link, in that case, guys, there will be no page exist. Why? Because you have changed the URL. So all the content of that website has been moved to the new URL. Now, guys, this is what we call the issues or I should say uh, the problem whenever you will change a permanent link of your website. And this happens most of the times whenever the people are using a structure which is having a date and time and month and year kind of that thing inside their structure. So the neat and clean structure should be having only two parts. So the one is your domain name, which will be default. And the second one should be your post title, some keyword or something which is actually related with the content. That's all. You don't have to include a date. You don't have to include a month or time, anything. You don't have to include anything. Now, in order to check how exactly you can have this kind of structure. Okay. So for that, what you have to do is guys, you have to go to your WordPress backend which is your WordPress admin board. Inside of that, there will be a section called setting and inside the setting, you will be having a permalink. Simply click to permalink. Whenever you have installed this first time, you might be in one of these options, either month or date. Let's imagine guys, if you have chosen this one, then your link will be look like this. Along with your domain name, you will be having the date when exactly your content will be published. Then after sample post, which is ideally your title name. But this is look ugly. This is no, you don't have to use it. The which structure you have to use it is the custom structure. In that case, guys, what happens is you will be having your domain name and this will be the area which we call the slug which is editable. Okay, so you always have to use this structure if your website is in the WordPress. But if your website is in the blogger, obviously you have no other option than using date and time format. 
that come by default inside the blogger and there is no option to remove that thing even i try to remove it but the problem is if you will remove it using certain codes now whenever you will try to index that inside the search console that will throw an error so there is no way to remove this date and time option inside the blogger so always if your website is in wordpress make sure you use this structure only there you must have only post name dot html if you're not sure how to use it guys simply type it here forward slash and then after guys there you can see post name dot html just use it even you can use without html that's your choice i'm always using dot html simply come here and click save changes now as you provide save changes and now what happens guys whenever if you will go to any post whenever you are writing any post whatever things you are doing at that moment guys what happens is let's say i'm clicking here add a new post once I will click to add a new post, this post will open and now best SEO tips. Let's imagine this is my title. At that moment, what happens is WordPress will automatically display one permalink for this particular content. And that permalink you can see here just below this, it will come automatically. Now what happens is guys, HTML, this is the thing structure we have chosen there. Then after this is the area which actually it is taking a post name. Why? Because we have chosen a percentage post name, right? So it will take automatically but this is a slug area which you can change yourself so if you wanted to have this only best seo just remove the other section now your url will be look like this there you can see guys this is how the url will look like so this is the area from which you can change your permalink and you must have to change one time or set structure of your website inside this setting and permalink area once you have set up there then after the option which you can see here will be look like this bloggingverse.com if you have chosen a structure over there with a date and time it will automatically show date and time then after there will be a slug area so that option you don't have to choose it there will be some issues what issues now in the future whenever you will update the post obviously you don't want it to have the date inside of that particular url right now whenever you if you will change the date inside the url this situation will happen now the url has been changed and if the url has been changed guys now whatever things you have gained over here that all will be lost instead what you can do is use it without date and time so that your url will be neat and clean and you can change it anytime any format and whenever you will do changes with your permalink make sure your old url should be routed to the new one you must be aware of so guys this is the way how you can change the permalink now whenever you are writing any particular post guys what happens is let's say i have opened this particular post which is having this particular url along with this keyword now if you will scroll down guys at the bottom if you are using any plugin such as yoast seo rank math seo at that moment you can see how it will look like when it will be visible in the search engine so this is the title which you are actually uh, providing over here and this is the url which you can see here so make sure the length of your permalink should be less than 50 to 60 character otherwise what happens is let's take an example there are couple of uh, the posts which are ranking in the search engine so if their length is less than 50 or 60 character it will be visible like this but if it is more than that then automatically there will be sign of dot 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 which i've seen multiple people are uh, using a total statement over there right you don't have to use complete statement you just have to use one or two words in order to make sure your targeted keyword is there and the length of the permalink should be there otherwise it will not be visible to user and user will get confused even this is a negative impact to your website the title could be a little bit more there you can see guys even the search engine general itself is having dot 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 that is okay but make sure your permalink should be within that 50 to 60 character and from this particular section you can see whether your permalink will be directly visible to user or not if not then there will be dot 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 so guys this is the way you have to change your permalink and this is the thing which is very much important whenever you are setting up your blog with a wordpress and always and always whenever you have set up your blog with wordpress make sure you set your permalink structure one time never ever change it and this is the structure you have to choose it domain name forward slash or sorry backward slash then after percentage sign and then after your dot, uh, post name dot html that's all this is the best structure everybody is using you can even exclude the html if you want but that's the important thing you have to understand now guys if you have some issues existing issues like you are already containing date and time and everything now what happens guys now you have to use a plugin called redirection so what is the use of that plugin how exactly use it for that reason guys what you can do is you can go to start a blog section and inside a start blog there will be a detailed description about that plugin redirection you must have to read about a plugin section and there i have explained how using a redirection plugin you can see here this is the plugin this is a broken link 
and there will be another plugin redirection. So use this plugin to route your old URL with a new one using a 301 redirect so that if somebody will click to your old URL, even in that case, that user will be routed to the new one and you will not lose any SEO. So I hope guys you got a good idea of what is permalink, how this is important for search engine optimization, how you can change it, what should be the exact structure of this so that in future you won't face any sort of issue. I hope guys this video has added some value to your learning. If this is so, make sure you subscribe, provide the next comment, what exactly or what should be the next video so that I will make accordingly and you will get value out of it. I hope guys you enjoy this. If this is so, stay tuned for the coming or future lessons. That's all for today. See you in the coming videos.